March 9th, everybody. March 9th. The release date for the Sui Coden remaster has apparently leaked, and it was leaked by a large retail chain in Europe, specifically France, and the chain is FNAC, maybe that's an acronym for something, but it was leaked on Reddit by user Nonobano2003. Thank you so much for leaking that, my friend. And checking up on this retailer, they are a very large retailer once again. I think the date can be trusted. It's very specific. It's not a placeholder date like December 31st, 2023 that we see a lot of time in games. And it's not even the first day of spring. So I think this could actually be the release date. It's also listed for 40 euros. So that's cool. That made my day. And then there is some new gameplay that has been dropping on Twitter uh, that some of you may have missed. One of them is the Fancy Lad Attack with Luke, Sasuke, and Futch. Uh, specifically, the biggest thing I noticed, the backgrounds look so clean. The environments look so good. And the sprites pop so well with the new backgrounds. It's looking clean as hell. Even the United Attack itself looks really good. And then we also got a showcase of the Soul Eater Rune. We see Tur using the Black Shadow attack on the enemy, so we can see how the animation's been cleaned up a little bit for the remaster. And you can notice, even though that they have changed some of the sound effects, they do still kind of pay homage a little bit to the original games. They haven't been changed completely, which I kind of like. And then lastly, we get to see the Black Sword rune with Joey in this iconic fight from Sui Koden 2, along with the Bright Shield rune one more time, which we have already seen. And once again, in this show in particular, the backgrounds just look so clean. It's nice seeing it in eight. HD and seeing the backgrounds expanded. Oh, it just makes me happy, guys. So that's it. We got these three little gameplay sequences from Twitter, and we got the March 9th release date. And I feel like that is legitimate. So start planning what you're going to be playing, and thankfully it does come out in spring before the deluge of games, specifically RPGs, start in summer. Anyway, thanks for watching this game break, guys. I'll see you later.